School Cleveland correspondent Julie Kihigas. I'm here with Akron resident and design and architecture graduate Michael Weigel to talk to him about an innovative project that he did in his very own backyard. Um, Michael, can you tell us a little bit about what we're standing right in front of here? We're standing in front of a rather large plastic fence. <laughs> okay, so this is a fence that um, you, you yourself designed and you used eco-friendly materials um, and you were able to do it at a really great price. So can you tell us about that? Yeah, um, basically my, uh, my parents came to me and they asked me if I could build them an 8 foot tall, 150 foot long fence that uh, hugs this rather steep hill. So I started looking into uh, different materials trying to help my parents out with the, uh, the budget. And uh, what I ended up finding was uh, recycled plastic lumber. So um, you used recycled plastic lumber, and uh, where did you where did you come up with recycled plastic lumber? Well, uh, you know, as everyone knows, that uh, going green or being eco-friendly is really popular right now, and it's kind of hard to do on a budget. So I, uh, I ended up contacting a, a company in Akron, uh, the uh, Akron Plastic Lumber Company, uh, and they were actually liquidating their entire stock of plastic lumber. But uh, the challenge was, because they were liquidating it, they had very low supplies, so I had like nine different colors and about 20 different sizes to work with, so I had to figure out a way to take those and make a usable fence out of them. So let's, let's just take a pan shot here and check out the fence. It's uh, pretty impressive. All right, and so um, now, what do you estimate that a fence like this would cost if you just purchased it at Home Depot? Um, well, you know, you usually buy in sections, I guess, and um, the total cost for all the materials, not including labor to put it together, would probably come out to about thirty-five hundred dollars. Thirty-five. And how much do you estimate that this cost you to put together? Uh, we spent a little over a thousand on it. And uh, would you like to tell us a little bit about the different design elements that you, the way that you put it together, and? Yeah. Um, some of the problems, uh, and this is you know, this is what I love about working with uh, design constraints, especially, you know, challenging new materials that I haven't used before. Um, plastic lumber is really dense and it likes to it likes to warp uh, basically it expands a lot in the sun so we couldn't go with just a traditional vertical style fence um, otherwise we'd have this really wavy looking goofy thing in the backyard so uh, in order to do that in order to cut down on waste we ran all the boards horizontally and uh, we kind of blended the different colors together in the different lengths so you can't actually tell but we've got three different lengths here and we have three different colors um, and then running them horizontally down a hill, when you cut a board on the top to make it match the contour of the hill, you just take the scrap from the top and you stick it on the bottom. So we have like very, very little waste for the fence. Great. And do you think this is a project that um, maybe some other cool Clevelanders could give a shot at? Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, with these kind of projects, um, you know, any green project that you do, uh, one of the fun aspects is, is just getting creative with the design of it. Um, you don't have to go with anything traditional. Um, it's, it's kind of fun, like taking different colors or taking different materials and kind of um, weaving, them, weaving them together into kind of a, a cool patchwork of colors or textures and stuff. Well, that's great, and your fence looks great. So um, thanks so much. Thanks. Uh, this is Cool Cleveland correspondent Julie Kahigas signing off from Akron.